basically last year they kind of bounced around with uh their with their program they went from the screw blown hemi deal with a with a with a three-speed transmission to the roots blown hemi deal with a liberty and that's where they're at right now they've got a roots blown liberty or roots blown hemi with a five-speed liberty and that combination is fast from what i understand they were making like innumerable runs on the hub dyno over the off season i heard the number 45 50 runs on a hub dyno over the off season and clearly paying dividends we've talked right here on that sh on this show how i think that we may look back at some point in the future I don't know that we really understand how significant the hub dyno has been to the sport was, of drag I was racing. About to say that. Like, I think that will be a landmark. We it's will gone from something that's like a luxury you know, to yeah, a luxury or yeah, something that was questionable whether it was needed or not to where yeah, it's you have like, to have it. It's a difference maker for these combinations now. I think it starts everything off. You're so much further along. You're not trying to get it to idle. You're not a lot of the things that you're fighting with a new combination are at the racetrack historically ironing out all those kinks and getting all those bugs out while you're in a shop with tools everywhere, air conditioning blowing, like you're not worried about it raining. You didn't have to fly a bunch of crew guys in. It's, you really can't say enough about the opportunity that a hub dyno provides race teams. And again, I do think there will be a point in time when we're looking back and going, wow, do you guys remember when Joe Aplosky, to the best of my knowledge, brought out and like kind of made standard the hub dyno? I mean, he was like the first guy that I'm aware of that was out here running pro mods and running really big power cars on chassis dynos. I mean, don't you remember that video that went around of Mark Woodruff, his black Corvette, the one that's yellow now on the, the chassis oh, dyno yeah. making 4,000 yeah. horsepower or whatever. And people were, people hadn't seen that, right? And then a video came out of Bob Ram's pro nitrous or NHRA pro mod Camaro on that hub dyno then the next thing you know fuel tech's got one modern in modern racing's got one everybody's got one and it's a clearly a difference maker and i look at that off-season testing putting in putting in the time uh when it's not convenient clearly making the difference for john salemi and company and i'm anxious